Hello and welcome to this week's Vaticano Updates, the most important news from Pope Francis and the Vatican. Pope Francis' prayer intentions for the month of March is for victims of abuse. Now the Holy Father said that asking for forgiveness is good for the victims, but they are the ones who have to be at the center of everything. He added that the church must serve as a model to help solve the issue and bring it to light in society and in families. The Pope sent a message saying he was praying for the victims of a train crash in northern Greece. Now authorities say at least 36 people died and more than 75 were hospitalized after two trains collided near the Vale of Tempe, a river valley north of Athens on February 28th. Now Pope Francis wrote in his telegram that he sends the assurance of his prayers to everyone affected by this tragedy. Pope Francis has cut housing perks for Vatican managers and cardinals in order to save the church money. Now, cardinals and other high-level positions at the Vatican will no longer be able to live in Vatican-connected housing for free or at a special price. Now, this decision comes two years after Pope Francis announced he was cutting cardinal salaries by 10%, and this happened in March of 2021. A new Spanish-language book written by Argentine journalist Sergio Rubin and his Italian colleague Francesca Ambrigiotti contains Pope Francis' answers to questions he is frequently asked. Now in the book, whose English title is The Shepherd, Francis' challenges, reasons, and reflections on his pontificate, the pontiff also addresses corruption at the Vatican, abuses committed by members of the Church, the COVID-19 pandemic, Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and his position on capitalism. The Pope also mentions a possible visit to his homeland of Argentina. Now, the Vatican announced that Pope Francis will visit Hungary for the second time from April 28th to the 30th. Now, the three-day papal trip to Budapest will include meetings with Hungarian President Katalin Novak, Prime Minister Viktor Orban, and meetings with the poor, migrants, young people, and the clergy, and members of the Society of Jesus. Pope Francis returns to the Central European country after a short visit in 2021 for the 52nd International Eucharistic Congress. Thank you for watching this week's Vaticano Updates. My name is Benjamin Crockett for EWTN Vaticano. Thank you.